Cities of Los Angeles, Boulder, Colorado, and now a school near Chicago have announced punishments for the state of Arizona. That because of a new law that allows police more latitude to question people about their citizenship. The latest is the Hyde Highland Park, I should say, school district outside of Chicago, which is stopping a girls basketball team from competing in Arizona. The assistant superintendent saying going to Arizona would not be, quote, in line with our beliefs. Joining us now from Chicago, Tamara Holder, civil rights attorney, and attorney Steve Greenberg, whose daughter used to be on that basketball team. So what say you, uh, Councilor Greenberg? I think it's unfair to the girls. The girls worked hard. They were a winning team. They got in this prestigious tournament, and a school district should not be making what is clearly a political statement. They don't know if the law is going to be found constitutional or unconstitutional, and they shouldn't speak for the values of the team. If they wanted to say, you can't go to this tournament or we don't think you should go to this tournament, the learning lesson is sit them all down, sit the parents down, and discuss it and reach a group decision. But don't just have some well, administrator somewhere What do you, know, you want them to say, vote on no. it? No. I mean, I think it's outrageous that a school district would speak for everybody in the district anyway, with the polls showing that 66% of Americans support the Arizona law. They'd lose. And I think it's very arrogant for a superintendent to go out there and say, yeah, you know, they don't reflect our values. What is that, a monolith here? I mean, come on. But you well, can't get a consensus on that or a vote on that. I mean, it's not fair to the kids. Bill, I can tell you that in that community, I think everyone finds the law repugnant, down to, down to the last individual. Everyone it's not the in that community? Role. I, it's, it's a very liberal community. Uh, they, Fox doesn't get real high ratings in that community. But it, everybody is not, it's not the school's position to reflect the views of the community. It's the school's position to teach the kids. The school is not a political outfit. The school shouldn't take a stand on that. They sent kids to China two years ago. They didn't say you're not going to China because China just Well, Arizona is much and, worse than Doug China, Smith, right. Counselor. Come well, on. China is a walk in the park compared to Phoenix. Right, Tamara? Apparently. Bill, can I chime in here? Yeah, I, I, I'd your like turn. to chime you're in. Up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, look, um, you know, the girls do lose. Uh, President Carter in 1980 boycotted the Olympics, and the American Olympians, they lost in Russia. But, so, but that's not the issue. The issue here is that the school has a duty, a duty to protect its students, all students, protect regardless of what? immigration status. Protect them from well, what? Well, if they... Well, well, Bill, if they go to Arizona and one of those kids is subject to search, whether they are immigrants <laughs> the here not even legally in or not. Yet, Tamara. It doesn't get into effect no, until August. That's a bogus argument. Are you telling me, Tamara, it's not a that bogus it's okay argument. for that school district to send people to China, but it's more dangerous to send them to Arizona? Is that what you're trying to peddle here tonight? Y yes, I am oh saying my that, God. Bill. If, <laughs> look, if the, if the school takes their kids to Arizona and yeah. they are subject to a search they and they are subject search to the law is not even in effect yet. No, this, this is going to happen in December. The kids go in December. The law will be in effect and the kids will be subject to search. The school has a duty to protect its okay, students. Okay, so, so you're All telling students, me. All students, regardless of immigration your, your status. Your argument is that these high school girls, and by the way, you have to be involved in another police matter to be questioned about your citizenship. So these high school girls, I guess, will be smuggling uh, huge amounts of cocaine from Chicago oh, to Phoenix. Oh, come on, Bill. You know the, that the on, police stop can stop, stop you for that's anything a, that's suspicious. A, that's the weakest argument. Anything suspicious, it's a pretext, stop you. Bill, it's a pretextual reason. It's a pretext. It's a fake reason. Of course. The school district doesn't like the law. They send teams to the worst areas of Chicago to play in sporting events, which are certainly far more dangerous than going to Arizona. Putting the kids on the plane, there's more chance of something happening getting on the plane and the plane crash. And they might be profiled there, when they get on to the plane. If one of them looks well, like a they Muslim, they could be pulled off because we live in a fascist that's country right. now. You know, this is so that's, ridiculous. That's right. oh, come on, you know, I don't know why these, don't like I, I don't know why, Tamara, and, and I think you, you'll agree with me on this. The good of a school is supposed to be educating the students and giving the students opportunities to grow intellectually, athletically, whatever it may be. This is Correct. imposing a political point of view on the student, imposing, and denying them a very worthwhile activity. I'll give you the last word, Timmer. Well, I, I think that there is probably a political um, probably. Um, issue going on here. But at the same time, it, I, can't, I can't repeat myself enough. The school has a duty to protect its students. No, if I'm a sorry. child is taken into custody into Arizona, what are the parents in Illinois going to do? I, the school know, is going to be exposed to liability. The parents are going to have their kids in jail in Arizona. I think I'm going to lead a field Arizona. trip. I'm going to be crazy. like the Pied Piper 
and get a flute and lead like thousands of American <laughs> kids into Arizona. I guarantee you not one of them will be bothered. All right, counselors, Me thanks very much. Streets of Scottsdale. <laughs> Directly ahead, more controversy in Arizona. The state saying no to school courses like